Hi everybody, today I'm gonna to teach you how to integrate filters into your Microsoft Teams. So we're going to go to Snap, if you go to Google, and then you search, I already had it, but just so you guys can see the steps. If you go to Snap Camera, and then it's this first one right here. So then we're going to be moving to the website and you're going to hit download. Okay, and then you're just gonna fill in your stuff down here. I agree, and I'm gonna put my email. Okay, I'm not a robot. And since mine is a MacBook, I'm going to download for Mac. Then I'm gonna get it down here as you can see it. So let me just wait for it to completely open. Okay, let's go ahead and click it. And if you have a PC, you would click down here, so then it's going to keep it. And then I'm going to open it. I'm going to hit allow. Next. I'm like saying everything and you guys can obviously see it, but okay, we're going to go to finish. And that is me being a potato. I think you guys can see that. Okay, cool. So I'm going to choose this one. Okay, cool. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to minimize this. And then I'm going to go to Microsoft Teams. So I'm just going to do like a practice one so you guys can see how I do it. I'm going to go to dismiss. And I am just going to... Click over here. Let me just go to a random meeting. Okay, I'm gonna go to my writing class. This was actually today's. So nobody should be in there for me to practice. And I'm just gonna going to hit join. Join now. Or by the way, you have to restart. Um, like close all your tabs and then do this again so that the snap camera can come on. So I'm going to just show you guys again. You go to three little dots and you go to device settings. And then here, instead of FaceTime, you can put the snap camera and then your students are going to be able or whoever to see your filter. So if I go to snap camera and I just choose maybe like another filter, they'll be able to see me. So I already... Let me choose that one. I guess it's loading. There you go. And then when I go over here for them to see me, um, I have a filter on. So that is how you can get filters onto Microsoft Teams and make maybe make it fun for your students. Bye, guys.